Why did yeah. you come out? Why or when? Why? Why? I think you came out, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. December? It was not December, it was August. I started, August. My, I started posting on Instagram August, yeah. but I got more prominent around October. That's even true. Your whole, the whole Assisi brand is just August. Because I remember when you yeah. were on, I think, 12,000 followers or so. Yeah. I have actually followed, followed wow. that, and I can't remember how I bumped into you, but it was, it was intriguing. But a lot of people were like, you shouldn't have come out. Why did you come out? You mean when my, I say come out, I mean my the identity. Yes, the identity. Okay. At the time, it was hard for me to manage. I'm not, I don't live in a state where certain things are processed, where you have certain kind of people that will make sure some things. When CIA decided to do that, it, was, mm. it worked for her and stuff. Mm. You know, but I live in a society where people would decide to step on your toes. People would disrespect your feelings and they would care less about it. Can you give us an example? Because okay. this sounds very personal. An example is this. For example, let's say you as channels, or you work here, Channels TV, calls me for maybe just a oh, sit Robin down. Mance calls you. Calls me. Mm. And at the time, I haven't showed my face, you know, and I'm sitting down maybe in the green room or something. And the people in the building know that I am Lassie Cielena. And the next thing, they start taking pictures from afar. They don't have to be as close as they, yeah. like I am to you right yeah. now. They just take pictures and post it online and say, guess who I'm seeing right now? This is Lassie It happened a lot of times at the time. I went out for some meetings. Those in the office would know that I am the last CC. They would take pictures. They mm. would, you know, at the time I had to even explain to them, okay, if you want to take a picture, let's take, let's use the filter together. That way you can always post it and I don't have to worry about it. That was one. Two, on the other hand, it started to limit the ability of things I could do. Mm. At the time I felt brands, some brands wanted to reach out to me, but um, they were hesitating. They were not sure if I was cool with, um, appearance in public places, mm. you know, being in certain places. And um, it started to seem like I couldn't handle it at the time. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to miss out on some big things. I didn't want to, I didn't want to um, make, give, give people the diff a different, different impression. impression. Like, um, you know, I even had people constantly then would tell me I would have done this, but um, we felt you wouldn't want to reveal your face. And it started to seem like, okay, for how long would I do this? Did, did, you, to, did you feel pressured to actually reveal your face? It wasn't part it, of I the was, plan. I was actually... Pre no, it was, it, it was from the onset, there was a plan. Mm -hmm. I had plans of revealing my face, but not at the time it did. I, did, I think in, in November, someone actually did, um, a blogger then, okay. he doesn't like to be called a uh, blogger, Tunde. <laughs> and I remember my face was out there, and a lot of people then at the time still did not get the whole because it was just a, a glitch when, when the filter was on my face. So mm. that was, it was a screen grab and that was what was on the internet at the time, you know. But um, when it came on, a lot of people criticized him. A lot of people said, well, it doesn't matter. Even though my face was out there, I could still manage it at the time. But I had plans of revealing my face, but not, not in that, that manner, way. not in that form. Mm. But on the other hand, it was good because I was able to, um, you know, <laughs> go around it. I was able to make something positive out of it. So mm -hmm. instead of it being a thing of, because a lot of people, you know, people would, not everybody can like you. People were like, okay, his faces are out there now. Let's see how, now I know his face. Let's see how he's going to make me laugh. Mm -hmm. It was better because I didn't know his face. So it just, you know, then I could laugh to his did, stupid did, joke. Did all those, I mean, all that, that demand and criticism, did it make you want to up your game? Trust me, it did. It did. Knowing that um, when I, just like I said, when I started, I would post on my WhatsApp stories and sometimes, maybe 40 people views my, my, my post and mm. maybe seven or 10, just, you know, make some comments and say, oh, it's funny or something. You know, there are some days I don't post. I just, five days until mm. maybe some of my cool friends just say, ah, what's up now? We didn't hear from you today. The man with the big man at the time, it didn't have a name. It was just me, you know. And then I, when I see, okay, two people are asking when I'm going to post my next mm. one, I just say, okay, let me post. But knowing that thousands of people all around are waiting for me to do something yeah. more creative. So then I had, a, I had like a mark, a target, saying, okay, this video, this is what I look forward to. Mm. I want this video to get to this reach. I want this video to get this sort of engagement. I want this video to have certain kind of comments. There's some videos I would make and some people will be very, mm, a bit dodgy in the comment section. And there are some, when I look at it, I'm like, okay, I think I'm getting somewhere here. Mm. So yes, it put a lot of pressure on me. And I like the pressure, knowing that I have people to answer to, people to deliver something good to, and they're looking forward to my rant, just like my Sunday rant. I have people who would send me messages like, okay, it's do 5 people, p.m. Do people actually send ideas of rants to you? People do that. People do what, that. What's the most creative idea that you've come across till date? Uh, okay, I wouldn't say it, because I haven't done it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> and it was a friend of mine who shared it with me last week. 
and uh, okay. it was really creative it was really nice a lot of people send me but some i can relate to some mm. i can't some you know people would always want to share what they have some are, I, some are so funny I, I don't really think i have i think i've done one i can't remember the exact one but mm. i have but um uh, sometimes it's hard to put yourself in that person's shoes, shoes and, it, you and know, being able to well. deliver it well, you know. So it's hard okay. sometimes. Now, I mean, I mentioned you're on, in August, you're on like 12,000 or so. I think yes. now you're in the ballpark no, of five. In August, I wasn't 12,000. In August, I was like maybe 106 people. 106 people? 106 on people. Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram. Now you're in the north of 500,000. Yeah, 000. yeah. That's astronomical growth. How, how have you been able to structure your, your performance? Because talent is one thing, and some say talent is not enough. There's the monetization, there's the money. Um, and when I'm talking about structure, what, what have you done differently recently that you haven't been doing before with respect to the Elasticity brand? Well, um, <clears throat> for me, being able to um, amass such number of people to constantly want to see what I have to offer, mm. um, it takes lots of thinking because, um, just like I said, pressure is on me. There are days I want to make a rant, I spend about six hours, I'm constantly thinking. About the rant. You know, sometimes I like to make my rant in the car because it has this way of sealing the noise, mm -hmm. makes everything sound proper because I use um, the filter. And sometimes when noise distorts it, it makes it sound very terrible to hear. So sometimes I'm just in the car for two hours and I'm just thinking, I'm thinking. I have it, but the delivery is not the way I want it to be. And I constantly keep thinking Sometimes I make it, I try to post, I don't enjoy it. I just cancel, mm. you know, I think of something else, I post. Now, being able to have a lot of people, you know, watch me, like what I do, some don't like, it takes a lot from me. How, how do you deal with people that don't like? I mean, have people come up to you and really insulted you to the no, point no, no, you're No one like... would do that to me. You can't walk up to me and tell me you don't like it to my face. <laughs> of course, I would not. What wanna... would you do? No, 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 no. I would, I would, I would ask you a question. Okay, you know what? Pause on that. Pause on that question. Um, you don't want to mess with Lassie Ellen. We'll be back after the break and talk more about um, well his current life now and some other activities that have been going on right here on Robin Minds. Stick around.